Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. Um, I'm going to show you quickly how to create a symbol and a simple motion tween with it, which is the foundation of most of the animation in flash. Um, I'm going to draw something very quickly using the brush tool over here. So I'm going to draw a fantastic smiley faced person. Okay, so once you've done that, it doesn't have to be a smiley face, it can be uh, anything you want. I can go up and use this selection tool here and draw a box around my smiley face, the left mouse button, and you see it kind of goes sparkly. That means it's selected. So to make it move, we need to make it into a symbol. Um, symbols are essentially objects which you can tween, uh, which means you can make the computer move them about for you. So to make that into a symbol, uh, on the PC it's F8, on the Mac it's function F8, or you can even go um, let me see, modify, convert to symbol. And when you do that, it'll flash this dialog up. It'll ask you what the name is, I'll call it face. Uh, the type, you've got a choice between movie clip, button and graphic. I'm gonna use a graphic because that's the standard you wanna use for moving things around in Flash if you're making animation. And the registration is just where you want the anchor point of your symbol to be. I've got it selected as being in the middle. Uh, you want to ignore um, advanced and any of the other stuff because it's not really relevant. Click OK and you'll get a blue box around your object and it'll appear over here in the library. So you can see it says face and you can see my smiley face there. So what I can do is I can move this around with the black selection tool, that's pretty easy. Now this is where we get to move it around. I might just turn off my title and action safe uh, because they're a bit distracting at the moment. You can see we've just got a nice big white screen. Um, and what we need to do is we need to create another keyframe. Um, keyframes are essentially uh, this first keyframe here, that's point A, we need to create a point B for it to move to. So here you can see we've got one keyframe on this layer, content, that's where my face is, uh, at frame one. So if I want to create another keyframe, I need to move further along the timeline, so I could choose frame 75, just click the left mouse button there, making sure that I'm on the same layer as my face. And then if you just press F6, it will create another keyframe. So you can see we've got a new keyframe at frame 75, and the first keyframe lasts for 74 frames. And you can see we've got a little white rectangle at the end which tells you that that keyframe is ending. So if we press enter, it will play it through, and it's just a static face, because both of the keyframes, the first keyframe and the second keyframe, are exactly the same. So we can change that now. If we go to our last keyframe, our second keyframe there on frame 75, use the black selection tool to move the face to the other side of the screen. You can see our first keyframe is on the left hand side and our second keyframe is on the right hand side. Uh, so we've got our first keyframe lasting 74 and then we've got one frame of our second keyframe uh, at 75 on this side of the screen. So to get the computer to actually move it for us, we need to create a motion tween. So let's do that. It's pretty simple to do. You can use the right mouse button to click on this gray space in the middle. And it'll ask you whether you want to create a motion tween or a classic tween. I'm going to stick with a classic tween for the moment because I'll go into uh, motion tweens a bit later on because they're slightly more complex. 
So if you go create classic tween, you'll see that you get this arrow going from keyframe one to keyframe two, and it will turn blue. So if we go to our first keyframe, press enter, it'll play it through, and you can see your face is moving from one side of the screen to the other. Fantastic, imagine that. <laughs> so it's that simple to create a simple motion tween from point A to point B. Create a symbol, create a motion tween, it's easy. Right, in the next lesson I'll show you how to make this motion tween a bit more interesting with some scale and rotation. See you there. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book, the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.